there, Cavos in training. Welcome to the Emerson High School Library Media Center. Today, we'll be discussing everything that is available to you in our school library. So come along and enjoy the tour. You probably have already used one of our many computers that we have here in the Media Center. Just be courteous of other people. Remember to log off so the next person can log on. And please remember to push in your chairs. Do you remember what OPAC stands for? It stands for our Online Public Access Catalog, which you can see right here in this picture. We have over 10,000 books in our library, but if we don't have something that you need, it's not a problem. We have Interlibrary Loan, where we can have books sent from any library in New Jersey. If you like to read tales of adventure or romance, we'll just look for the large letters and you'll know that you're in our fiction section. Our fiction section starts with A and ends with Z and it wraps around our outside walls. If you have a biography project to complete, just look for our 92 or 920 section. 92 are individual biographies and 920s are group biographies. Biographies are cataloged by the person's last name, not the first name. Our high bookshelves with numbers listed at the top in arrows by hundreds? Well, that's following the Dewey Decimal System. Those are our non-fiction books or our informational books if you're doing research on a certain topic. Our lower stacks, or our reference section, also contain books by Dewey Decimal Number, but these contain books like encyclopedias and dictionaries and other books that you might need for research. We also have periodicals or magazines. As a matter of fact, we have many different magazines. If you're interested in any of these, just take the laminated cover up to Mrs. Little or myself, Mrs. Thomas, and we'll check it out to you. If you're coming into the library and you need to know which teacher is on duty, just look at the green board as you walk in to your left. Below that is a basket where you're to place your passes when you're coming from another class or from study hall. Do you need a copy of how to create an MLA research paper? Or do you need our database list or other information from the library? Check the turnstile right next to the side of where the teacher station is. We have rules posted throughout the media center. No, you're not allowed to use a cell phone, unless, of course, you're listening to an audiobook or using it as a calculator to do math. But we do expect you to be respectful and follow the rules. And if you still have questions, we'll just visit our webpage. Well, this is our Library Media Center website found on our Emerson High School website. And if you go to our high school page, it's always listed right here on the left-hand side. This page is filled with some really important information. Um, my email, if you have any questions, as a matter of fact, I just had a senior who graduated last year email me to ask for our database and password list to help her in college. Um, this is just my links to my personal sites. And then if you go down here, we have a link to the high school online card catalog, which you're all familiar with. It looks like this, the OPAC, which we'll go over again later. We also have a link to our database password sheet. The great thing about this link is that all of the websites are active, so it's not just a printed out copy. If you go here, you can just click a link. I like to copy the password before I go in and then remember the login. So for example, when I go and click on this link, I know that my login is Emmer's Remote, so I would type that in, Emmer's Remote, and I just paste my password in, and then hit Login, and that brings me to our eLibrary page. So this is really a very useful um, tool to use, and here we have our eLibrary page. But I'm going to go back because I want to continue showing you 
what else we have here. We also have another link here for book title suggestions. If there's a book that you don't see in our library after you've searched the OPAC uh, and you would like us to purchase it, you just click here and you simply fill out this form, the title of the book, the author of the book, and the ISBN number. Now an ISBN number is found in the back of your book and I'll show you that in a second. So let me go back again and I'm going to click back on Library Media Center because I went back too far and I also have here a citation maker program um, I have a dic uh, dictionary.com link I have search YouTube Thinkfinity tools this day in history and a translation tool for foreign languages now if ever I'm not in the Media Center we also have Gail Little who just pretty much knows everything there is to know about anything in this high school. So if you have a problem, she is definitely someone you want to find. And then there's a link to my email here as well. I try to keep this updated as often as possible. Um, our, uh, our OPAC station was just recently um, upgraded, so it's working fine. And also, um, I try to put links here, like when the ALA award winners come out, and sites that I like. So that's about all I have to say about our website, but I will be talking about it more. So let's go back to a few more rules. Don't forget to recycle your water bottles. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, there is a sign out sheet right above the recycle bin. Make sure if you go to the bathroom that you remember to sign out. Don't lean back on our library chairs. One, you could crack your head open, and two, they're not so easily replaced. Don't forget to get a pass if you're coming to the Library Media Center from study hall or class. And remember to put it in the basket if there isn't a teacher at the desk. Ask the teacher on duty for a bathroom pass or a nurse pass. And don't forget you still have to sign the sign out sheet. Remember, unless you're using your cell phone for an audiobook or as a calculator, turn it off. This is not the place to have phones ringing while someone is trying to study. Please remember to push in your chairs. Remember, this is a safety hazard if they're not pushed in. And Mrs. Little, well, she's a wonderful resource. If you have any questions about the library and Mrs. Thomas or there's not a teacher on duty around, just feel free to ask her. She's a great help. And finally, if you have a book to return, just give it to Mrs. Little or Mrs. Thomas. And if we're not around, just put it on Mrs. Little's desk. Thank you. And now, just raise your hand if you have any further questions.